Morning boys and girls, sports fans, Den here. Still in Sydney, Australia, can't get out of the place, sorry about that. But I've got three very special guests here today talking about the wonderful world of Cloud Accounting. On my right? Yeah, on my right. On your right. On your yeah, right. Is, is, is James. On my left is Diane and Guy. Well, let's start at the other end. Guy, yes. who are you? What do you do? Why are we doing it? Um, I'm the founder of Interactive Accounting. Uh, we're in predominantly all online cloud-based accounting firm uh, here in Sydney, uh, but we have clients all the way around the world. And I guess we focus on the vertical. So we're trying to make sure that businesses from lead to the data can run the businesses online and scale without having to hire more accountants or more processes. And you started off with nothing a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, two and a half years ago, I was pouring beers at a uh, now client, actually, a wholesale distribution brewery based in Manly. Okay. C a, a CA pouring beers? I, I yeah. thought that was a good thing. <laughs> oh, it was a great thing. I only, <laughs> I only quit because I uh, couldn't sort of get there for 5 or 6 p.m. anymore. All oh, right, okay. Diane, your story, what's yours? Uh, I'm one of the founding um, partners of um, Wild Financial Services Limited. Right. Also a CA, um, we're a group of uh, accounting firms all through Australia, um, 55 staff all up and basically focusing on working with SMEs. Right, okay. James? Um, I'm a partner at Elite Financial Solutions. We are a, a, a holistic firm uh, based in Sydney. I'm a CA as well, so mm. typical uh, um, accounting background. But we are tending to focus on that holistic approach to the clients. So we do all the financial services and financial planning and all those things. Mm. But in terms of the cloud, um, you know, we're, we're typical of most normal accounting firms in Australia where, you know, the, the old server-based systems and, and everything, the only way to connect in is your remote desktop. But I've seen the light a few years ago and are now we're seeing the transition to the cloud to deliver a better service to the clients, but also allow our clients to connect better to us as well. What does that mean in terms of the way in which you're developing the practice and, and moving forward? Well, at the moment, we're, we operate under the silo model. Mm. So four partners, all with our own client base, sharing costs. Mm. Um, but as part of the, the, I guess, the transition, two of the partners are being moved on and, and myself and the, the main partner are going to proper partnership. Mm. And that is all right, because we get on quite well in, in that regard. But in terms of the, the technology, trying to make it um, uh, a smooth transition, you know, be able to move offices, staff work everywhere, mm. that sort of thing. Mm. Dan, you've got, a, you've got a different model. You're, you're trying to rule the earth, aren't you? Or at least this part of the earth, <laughs> let's put it that way. Yeah, um, we have a situation where um, the group is really uh, coming together of six practitioners, mm. sole practitioner firms. Mm. Again, very much like uh, James, you know, coming from a very traditional model but certainly um, using the systems and cloud-based computing mm. uh, to bring the efficiencies, the flexibility um, to our practices. Mm. Um, and at the same time, allowing us to just work from anywhere. Right, but you've mm -hmm. got a change management issue as well, haven't you? Uh, we do, yes. And uh, I'm I love glad the way you smile <laughs> when you say that. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, I enjoy a challenge, <laughs> um, Dennis. In terms of, uh, yes, in terms of the change management, mm. we're lucky in that uh, the principals are all on board. Um, even though they're baby boomers, they, mm. they all see the light, they understand where it's moving to, and the staff have embraced it uh, simply because it allows them the flexibility to mm. um, work when they feel like it and where. The clients love it mm. as well because uh, they're able to access their systems. They're not tied to one particular computer, one particular location. Mm. So it's a win-win for everybody. Right. And Guy, I mean, you're doing something completely different, aren't you, in one sense? Go, uh, go on. What's talking your about my haircut? Or no, 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 no. Right. In terms of, you, you're talking about taking this uh, into completely different new territories and so forth, right? Yeah. Um, I guess we're kind of taking it to the next level where we view that um, anywhere in the world we can provide, excluding tax services, um, accounting services, but also systems implementations. Mm. Um, and basically what we want to set ourselves is where you come to move your whole business online. And what we found is that people usually take a little dip first. Mm. So they might move to you know, Google Apps or um, Office 365, and then they sort of explore other options. So mm. we want to make sure that clients coming to see us anywhere in the world can basically go, you know, what is the best for our, our vertical, our industry? Um, what have you got as a solution out of the box mm. and then basically do the setup support implementation and training on those and provide ongoing support and advisory um, even when it's necessary but for us it's very much a modular concept so we're happy as long as the client gets what they want so so, so you're one of six geek accountants that I know then right 
Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm right. very much an active user and tester and beta tester of anything that comes up. Uh, you like your toys? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, not in the car sense, but yeah. <laughs> but also, you said you, you were saying earlier on that um, everybody in your business has to be on Mac, right? Yes, that's correct. Go on, explain what happened there. <laughs> Um, basically, uh, I, I was a PC fanboy, so to speak, so I used to build my own computers and then my best buddy and partner in crime at the time bought a Mac and he works for Atlassian, mm. which is a large IT company out of Australia, mm. very successful, and gave me a use of his one day and I uh, said, try this out. And I had it for about a week in the end and I didn't want to give it back. Right. Um, the thing that I love about the Macs is that the tagline should be, the shit just works. Yeah. Um, and the reason we've put Macs in place for everybody is a hiring policy, unless you are a geek and can build your own computer, is because we don't have any IT support costs. Right. Um, we've got a new person starting in three weeks' time, and I've um, set up her whole Mac for her. It took me about two hours, and she's ready to go. Right, yeah. okay. Diane, in terms of um, client challenges, how do, you, how do you transition your clients onto this new way of working, or is it just not a problem for you? Uh, we haven't really had any issues, James. Right. I mean, they've they've been um, quite on board. Uh, in terms of, well, we with the accounting um, side of things, we use Zero, mm. and Zero has just been fantastic in terms of their support and the marketing around it. So it's um, pretty much the clients will do as we tell them. Right. You know. Yeah. Right. Uh, we uh, part of it is really we don't have to work real hard in the sense that they can actually access the software. Mm -hmm. um, you know the data is available to them real time, right. which is really something new for them because all of a sudden we're focusing on the future. Mm. Um, you know, it's real time, we're allowed to actually forecast and help them um, think ahead mm. as opposed to traditional compliance, mm. which has always been uh, commenting on the past. Yeah, yeah, reactive in that yeah. sense. James, just, just finally with you, would it be possible to do what you're thinking about with your partner going forward mm -hmm. without cloud services or not? Do you um, think it would be possible? It, it would be possible, but we're in the process of changing our approach to, to business. A right. bit like, like Guy was saying, being able to develop those end-to-end -end solutions for clients in mm. industry. So whilst we could continue with our current traditional accounting model, mm. we'd just be a, you'd just go to a, prop, a, a normal partnership and a, and a profit share. Our actual approach is getting away from um, just doing their tax and compliance work mm. because zero is, you know, changing the way that's done. Mm. And with zero, um, looking at having standard business reporting mm. to the ATO, you know, for everyone apart from an individual, you don't actually don't need a, don't, you don't need a tax software anymore. Right. And it spits it straight from zero into into the ATO. But then with the passing of recent legislation here in Australia, individual tax returns are almost going to become non. Uh, a, a need mm. uh, you don't need to do them anymore you can tick a box and have a standard deduction given to you so the whole landscape is changing and and clients want to be able to come to a firm and 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 that's where guys uh, practice is, is is hit it on the head where they can move to the cloud and that it just includes your accounting and your bookkeeping software you know, mm. zero is just a part of that so yes we could go and do the old thing mm. and continue to do the old thing but in where we want to go no not without Cloud, Zero, Workflow Max, all those, all those um, uh, online solutions. Okay. Thank you very much indeed, everybody. You heard it first here. See you later, boys and girls. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Okay.